Alright, so here we go. Um, everyone was looking forward to a sniping tip video. This is a little trick I call the double scope. And what it gives you the ability to do is start to scope in, but perhaps you see a guy running a different route or a new guy. So basically you're going to unscope and scope in on the new position. So hence double scope since you're scoping twice. So say he was in the doorway and he hides behind those crates or you see him running through the crates and comes through the doorway. It gives you the ability to not only uh, rescope, but as you can see there I was focused on one area, seen where he was, rescoped and got the other guy, so it's very helpful. The half scope is basically um, the double scope, but without scoping in all the way. It gives you the ability to run around corners and start to scope in just in case there's someone behind there, but if there's not, not waste your time with scoping in, you know what I mean, because it gives you the ability to run to a new position and uh, counter what the team's going to be doing. Um, I unfortunately don't have any examples, but we're going to get straight to the quick scope. Um, very useful and definitely a lot more accurate than the no scope, and I'll show you why right here. You're going to see I'm going to focus in on that black dot, make sure I'm aimed at right at the middle. I'm not going to do any other tricks, just pull the trigger, and I'm letting the gun settle, so... I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't care about the G-Shot, double Y, or anything like that. Alright, so there was the full clip. That's five shots, right? I hit one in the black area, and there's a one that's a little bit off to the left, you can see there. But if that black area was your enemy, you wouldn't hit him. So now we're going to quick scope. I'm just going to zoom in right there in the middle so you know. There's one, two, three, four, five. So if I hit all five shots, there be, should be six shots there because there's one previous. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's one right off to the side. So as you can tell, quick scoping is definitely a lot more accurate. And these are going to be some following up uh, examples of why to quick scope. So here we go. Bam. And sorry that it's a little bit laggy here. Um, I captured it in a different format, so it's going to be a little bit laggy but you can get the basic concept from those shots um, the drop shot um, a lot of people ask me how you can uh, incorporate this into sniping and this is exactly how take him out and I'm getting shot by another guy so you automatically drop behind cover pop up and shoot the next guy very very helpful as you can see there I shoot the guy and I'm dropping just in case the enemies can see me I miss the shot and you're actually going to see me incorporate the double scope right there and then the drop shot to get this last guy so and once you get good, you'll start, you know, incorporating all these together, and that's going to improve your KD and your, uh, you know, your, uh, what would you say, consecutive gameplay. So as you can see here, just dropping down, shooting guys, popping up, pulling the trigger. I mean, as you can tell, I'm getting hit, but because I'm dropping, they're not being able to finish me off. So you're getting kills while still staying alive, and that's very helpful. Um, one, another thing is picking up guns. I, I know you want to just be a sniper, but it's definitely helpful to keep you know the guns available here. You can see I picked up the pistol because I knew there was two guys, so I needed a different pistol besides the Magnum. Pick up the STG and go ahead and take these guys out. Um, that's basically it. I'll probably come out with a little bit more, but I'm glad that you uh, hopefully like this, and I'll go into more details about some of these things, hopefully get more... Uh, examples for you um i'm gonna go over the what is it superman in the next tutorial which i mean isn't that hard it's pretty basic but uh i hope you like so let me know what you think